What's up, everybody? Joe here from So You Want a Crypto. So, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but altcoin season looks like it's kicking off. Bitcoin dominance is dropping like a rock. That's what we want to see. And yet, it's still, you know, the Bitcoin price is still going up. Uh, but at about, you know, a small percentage compared to everything else. We're going to look at that, and we're also going to look at the graph and a whole bunch, the first 10 par projects that are migrating over to the mainnet. So, stick around. Good stuff today. And uh, this is the stuff that keeps you ahead of the crypto curve. Remember, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what your, uh, your thoughts on these projects are. Give me some price predictions if you got them. Always love to hear that. And uh, as always, not financial advice. Let's get to it. I'm not sure if you noticed yet, but it's looking a lot like altcoin season. Look right here, we got Bitcoin. In the last week, we're going to go down. I mean, it's just green, green, everywhere, green, green, all the way. Uh, Bitcoin, though, is running about 18% to like Ethereum at 31%, who just broke $3,000. Congratulations. Uh, things are moving. This is good. This is hot. This is what we want to see. Uh, this is like probably the real, you know, the, the, the all flags are going. Altcoin season is ready to rock. So hopefully this is going to be it. Ready? We're going 2.348 trillion with a capital T in market cap. But really, the volume is still only at about $188 billion. So a lot of market cap, you know, not a huge amount of volume, but a good amount. Uh, yeah, green everywhere. Look at some of these. Neo's up 40%. Doge, I think, was up 50%. XRP's up 53%. Waves is up 86%. Phantom up 150%. I mean, here we go. We're going to start seeing 100%, 300%. Look at right. Uh, Prometheus, 470, 670 on the week. Dents up 35. Voyager's up 40. Curves up 40. Alien World's up 177. Yeah, it's looking good. So, uh, a key factor in all of this now is going to be Bitcoin dominance. Here's the link. I'll put all this stuff in the description below. You can check it out. Here's the last alt season right here. So we're looking at uh, December 2017 to January 2018 right here. This big, huge. And we felt like we were sitting at 60-ish percent for a really long time on BTC dominance. And it just wouldn't go. And then it's starting to fall like a rock right now. We're below 50%. That's awesome. We're looking good. You see on the old, we were down to about 36 and a half is what this chart says. So we still got a little ways to go here. Uh, we're about halfway, it looks like, on this altcoin cycle. But who knows what's going to happen, how long it's going to last. If it's different than the last time, if it's better than this time. Uh, so an altcoin that I think is going to have some movement that's a little undervalued. We saw that it went up 30% in the last week. But we're still down, you know, 15% over the last two weeks. 8% on the month. It's got this strong plateau. I'm looking for this thing to push two dollars real, real soon, and then after that, I think maybe even a, a good push higher. But who knows? Uh, and why do I think that? Well, the first ten subgraphs have migrated, or are migrating and moving over to the uh, decentralized network. The graph right here, you can get it on, you know, pretty much anywhere. It's not hard to find. It's a indexing protocol and global API for organizing blockchain data and making it easily accessible with GraphQL. You see some big names in the background here too, Aave, Decentraland, Uniswap. Uh, where's my graph right here? So, after sharing the graph's migration path to the main net on March 24th, that was this year, 2021, the Graph Foundation is excited to announce the first 10 projects migrating subgraphs to the decentralized network. Audius, Dodo, Enzyme, Gnosis, Livepeer, Mstable, Open, with a YN, uh, Pool Together, Reflexor, and UMA, UMA. These dApps are taking the next step to becoming fully serverless applications and further decentralizing the Web3 stack. This process will be an ongoing rollout over the next few months as each subgraph launching on the mainnet will vary in how long it takes and what it does, right? Here's uh, the DeFi. But basically in DeFi, we're going to see uh, UMA, 
Gnosis, M Stable, Reflexor, Dodo, Open, Enzyme, and Pool together. We got some NFT and Entertainment. NFTs are one of the fastest growing subgraph verticals on the hosted service and one of the most anticipated use cases for Ethereum. Our NFT mainnet migration partner is Audius, a project leading NFT development for music and driving force of today's NFT culture. And then on the video side, we got Live Peer, a decentralized video streaming platform built on Ethereum whose subgraph has been on the graph's hosted service since 2019. Again, here's the graph. Here's your token, ERC-20. Your numbers, 2 billion even looks like uh, roughly on the market cap. When we go over here, the 2 billion. Let's see, the graph, number 69. Yeah, I think this thing is it's still 11% down on this graph. So I, I, I still think this is undervalued and ready for a good push with all the stuff that's going on, the stuff that's coming over. Uh, APIs for a vibrant uh, decentralized future. You can check this out if you want to get into a little bit more. But uh, live products. So many of the best products are using the graph in production. Today, Uniswap, Synthetics, Decentraland. Another one I think is a little bit undervalued, Aragon. Word of mouth, backed by, all right, Audius, Audio, A-U-D-I-O. You can find this on Binance, FTX, and Uniswap. $428 million market cap, a little bit over. $124 million in the last 24-hour trading volume, $2.78, up 5%. On the week, it's up 44%, but on the month, it's still down 11. We can see right here. I think we're looking for... Uh, you know, pretty good game. Back into the $3 range if this altcoin stuff starts to pan out. Here's uh, audience on coin market cap, roughly same numbers, same graph, just so you get a different perspective. Here's their audience.co. Unleash your music, discover and stream up, and coming artists. Up and coming artists, my bad. But here's like, uh, so Dead Mouse. He's on Wax, too, right? Here's the Wax collection through Rares. That's NFTs. Ton of cool stuff in here. I don't know if you checked this out or not, but if not, you can find it on Atomic uh, Hub, Wax Markets. It's, it's pretty cool stuff. So that's the Audius coming through. Here's Dodo. $3.98. It's up 5%. It's about a $460 million market cap. 83 million, 83 and a half million in the last 24 hours. Ranked 160 on CoinGecko. Dodo on, yeah, you're looking about the same over here. Uh, 490 market cap. They say fully diluted market cap on this. We're looking at about four and a half billion, just under. And here we go, we got that step. I think that this is gonna kinda equalize up a little bit more, hopefully. And then uh, maybe do one, another one of these big pushes and then keep about 50% of that. But this is a Chinese decentralized finance protocol on-chain liquidity provider whose unique proactive market maker, PMM, is, algorithms aim to offer better liquidity and price stability than the AMM, automated market makers. Here's Dodo. Trade your crypto assets with market-leading liquidity. Check it out. Next is Enzyme. MLN, it used to be Melon Finance, now it's Enzyme Finance. Uh, 126.69, up 1%. It's only, this one's small, right? $170 million market cap, a little over 6 million in the last 24 hours. It's ranked 299 on the uh, coin Gecko. And, you know, we're kind of about the same over here. This one is, saw a little bit of hype back in 2018. And then it kind of just fizzled out. And now we've seen, you know, some more, some new growth right here, and this is pretty cool. Uh, empowers you to to build and scale investment strategies of your choice with discretionary and robo to EF, ETFs and market making. Here's Enzyme Finance on chain asset management. It's pretty cool if you want to check it out. Uh, I'm not going to go too deep into it, but uh, DeFi integrations, uh, Uniswap, KyberSwap, Paraswap, Synthetics, Compound Lending, more coming. Hundred plus supported tokens. And then Enzyme, MLN. And that's just why it's MLN. It's just, they went through a name change. 
Next, we got Gnosis. Oh, yeah, did I say where we could get this? Uh, Huobi, MXC Kraken. Gnosis, GNO, GNO, uh, 222.92. So $223. Uh, smaller market, I mean, you know, medium market cap, maybe pushing. 335 million. Two and a half million in the last 24 hour trading volume, number 202 on CoinGecko. This one's up 28%, 30, 30, 30, 1000. But it's another one of those making that, like a, the super long. It's back from 2018. We saw a really good love here. And now, you know, we're seeing some pretty good growth on this for this next bull cycle. So I'm excited. Kraken is where your place is to get on this one. GNO, Kraken. Uh, same thing basically on here for coin market cap. Kraken, you got some Bitrix in here too, but it looks like it's a little bit small. Uh, build, Gnosis builds new market mechanism for decentralized finance. Our three interoperable product lines allow you to securely create, trade, and hold digital assets on Ethereum. Build on, participate in Gnosis DAO. Moving on to Liver, or, uh, I was gonna say Liverpool, but Live Peer. LPT, $34. Uh, ranked 122, 800 million dollar market cap, 11 and a half, almost million in the last 24 hours. Here's your numbers. I'm not really hitting those just to save time, but you know, it's got a low max supply, 23 million. It looks like same thing, 20%. But you know, it's had big growth on the year, but this one looks like it's uh, something to keep an eye on. It's pretty cool. It's uh, you know, one of the 10 moving over to the graph. It's the aim to deliver live video streaming network protocol that is fully decentralized, highly scalable, scalable, crypto token incentivized, and results in solution where they can serve live media layer in decentralized developments. The Web3 stack. Here's their. Let's move some of this. Uh, live Peer was launched in 2017, the first live video streaming network protocol that is fully decentralized. And the platform aims to become a viable blockchain-based, economically efficient alternative to centralized broadcasting solutions for a new and existing broadcasting companies. Gate.io, Bitthumb, Gate.io, uh, Gemini, Polynex. So you, you can find this. LPT. Here's their site. Uh, what role will you play in the live peer network? Developers, token holders, video miners. Curious about how it works. Here's some links. Uh, the date it was founded. This has been around for a really long time, 2017. So it's made it uh, till now. I mean, that's something, if anything. But here's your state, GPU access, stuff like that. Uh, I dig on it. M stable governance token meta. I think this is going to be your M stable 282. See, we're still down 20%. Not real sure where this one's going to go. I'm just bringing it up as one of the 10. Here, same thing on coin. Market cap, autonomous and non-custodial infrastructure, infrastructure for pegged value crypto assets. Currently earning, says 12.2% for MUSD and uh, whatever, but yeah, current APY. It says it's generated 471 million, 564 million swapped. So here's, if you want to check out M Stable. Here's what I could find, I guess, for open. It was a curve insurance. And then open version two. Really not a lot. Uh, so if you guys know more, put it in the comments below. But next is a pretty good one. Here we go. Pull together. This one's 33 million, 33.7 million. Uh, one and a half million, 24 hour trading volume, 19 and a half. But basically, this one is cool. And I think it's going to actually kick off a little bit once altcoin season. It had just a tiny little bit of hype right here in the beginning. And then it just kind of planed out. But basically, this is like no loss lottery, I guess is a good way to say it. Here's the numbers on pool together uh, for coin market cap. But yeah, win by saving your money. Deposit now. It's an open source and decentralized protocol for no loss prize games. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I definitely check it out if you're bored or something. All right, we're going to keep this moving. Reflex or underground, under governance token. That's FLX, 563 down 10%. Reflex or finance, 25 million in the last, or market cap, 25.2 million market cap. It's only like 500,000. 
in the last 24 hours so that's kind of why i like all these that's why i'm bringing them up not by advice not financial advice nothing like that just you know the graph is a hot project it's cool i like decentraland I, you know i like ave i like so and then these 10 will be the first and when we look at well i mean there's there's thousands of subgraphs you know these are just the first 10 to move it to the main net uh, let's get in here real quick. Here's Reflexor, leverage ETH using RAI. A decentralized, stable, and non-pay currency made for the digital economy. Leverage using RAI, use RAI, protocol statistics, what is RAI? RAI is a non-pay Ethereum-backed stable asset. It is useful as more stable collateral for other DeFi protocols. Compared to Ethereum or BTC, they have higher volatility. Or as a stable asset with an embedded interest rate. And then the last one we're going to look at is UMA UMA, 26.49, down 4.3%, number 82. Market cap is about $1.6 billion, 24-hour trading for volume is $68 million. Uh, you can look, lots of numbers, lots of numbers. But really, here we go, we're down, we're still down about 8% on the last two weeks. You know, we're up a lot over, over time. And this one doesn't, that kind of that stair stepper thing again, where it goes up, it held most of its value kind of for a second, but really it dropped crazy down. And it took it a while to kind of recover. And then once it did, it really shot up. It's been kind of volatile since. And I, th I see this pegging out, but I, I see another big jump in the future here for this coming up on UMA. You can get this Coinbase bank. I, yeah, here you can see, I'll show you all trading pairs, but the list is long and distinguished, right? Uh, you can pretty much get this thing anywhere. So this isn't a bad one to look at. Uh, same thing here. It went up, kind of made the weird, almost J-curve, went parabolic for a second. Now it's back on the step. Yuma enables DeFi developers to build synthetic assets. Synthetic assets are pretty huge, especially in the crypto blockchain world. Uh, DeFi is it's just hot. That's all it is. So it's key metrics. Uh, TVL in contracts is $205 million right now. How it works... Uh, the five main network actors on UMA, UMA, token sponsors, liquid, li liquidators, disputers, data verification mechanism, DVM, and UMA token holders. You can read into all this, not a deep dive, just showing you the top 10 here, or the first 10. So yeah, the first 10 subgraphs migrating to the, de migrating to the decentralized network. Um, this is pretty hot. Some of these, um, I, China, I know it's a growing market and... I, I see this Dodo doing pretty good on that, uh, bringing a lot of money onto the network. The graphs, all of this together combined is going to bring a lot of money to the graph in showing people how it's done. You know, it's always the first 10 that's, I guess, the hardest or whatever. You know, the first to do something, it's the hardest. They may not be the best, but they kind of show the way. And then after that, you know, everybody else kind of follows in. I think this is going to basically open the floodgates because when we look... Pretty sure it says somewhere down here. Yeah, today the over 10,000 subgraphs have been deployed by 16,000 developers. So, you know, lots of room to grow on the main net. And, you know, these well, it'll be interesting to see how these first 10 go. I think some of these have a lot of potential to make people money and move up. Anyway, I'll keep it short. Thanks for the support. Like, subscribe. See you on the flip. Cheers.